Hi everyone, I'm Dave Cowan. Welcome back to my Hand of the Month series. I played this hand last week at the Denver Regional and a Pairs event. I was in the north chair, vulnerable against not. I opened one club with my 13 points. My partner bids two clubs, which is inverted minors. She has 10 or more points and it's forcing for one round. West over calls two diamonds, and normally we play a two no trump rebid is a minimum balanced hand, and in this particular case, it would be a minimum balanced hand with diamonds stopped. My partner jumps to six no trump, swish. And I get the Ten of Spades lead. Now I've covered up both the East and the West hands because the um, decision at trick one is so important. So um, all of you uh, take a minute and figure out what you would play at trick one. Uh, at first glance, it looks like I have no play for this slam. I have one spade, one heart, three diamonds, and five clubs. So I only have ten tricks. And West's two diamond overcall almost certainly places him with both of the missing kings. And so if I play the queen of spades from dummy, hoping that East has underlaid the king, then I do have 12 tricks, because then I'd have two spades, one heart is three, three diamonds is six, five clubs is 11, and I would have time to set up a 12th trick in hearts, whether the king is onside or not. That's almost certainly not. Um, the problem is, is if I play the Queen of Spades at trick one from dummy, and West covers with the King, and I take the Ace, um, I'm now wide open in Spades, and I won't even be able to set up a second heart trick because once I lose to the King of Hearts, um, they'll run who knows how many spades on me. So if I play the Queen of Spades at trick one and West covers with the King, then I'm pretty much going to be forced to cashing out 10 tricks and going down two. Now, If I duck in dummy at trick one and win with the ace of spades, I can then take a hard finesse through the relatively safe west. He won't be able to run spades on me. He will be able to cash the king of spades, and I will go down one. But I won't go down two. And down one might be an acceptable score on this hand. My partner and I do have 32 points uh, and a nine card club fit. And I suspect that most of the field will be in six clubs or six no trump, neither of which makes if both kings are offside. So between the relatively small, maybe 10% chance that East has underled the King of Spades uh, versus down one, which should be a relatively common score, versus down two, which would be a clear bottom, I decide to play for down one. 
and I play small. Let's play small, and I win with the ace, and I lead a small heart to dummies 10. West wins with the king, and then West returns the deuce of spades, and my heart sinks, because I know he doesn't have the king, otherwise he would have cashed it. Uh, let me uncover the cards so that you can share in my disappointment as to what has happened. And obviously I play the five and East did have the king and played it, but now whatever they lead, I will have the rest of the tricks. So notice how strange everything is on this hand. If I back it up, first of all, West overcalls two diamonds, which is extremely strange. Normally, an overcall there would be lead directing, and West certainly does not want a diamond lead. Might want a heart lead, and he does have five hearts, and uh, uh, a far better overcall, if you were going to overcall with that weak hand, only four high card points, would have been two hearts. And furthermore, East could have bid a weak two spades over my opening club bid, which looks like a perfect bid to make with six spades and few points and not vulnerable, but they chose not to do so. Um, furthermore, they make a very strange lead of the Ten of Spades. Uh, the Jack would be the normal lead from this sequence, but they led the Ten. So, everything was a little strange on the bidding and the lead. Um, I can't hardly fault them because they do actually end up making the one lead that allows me to make 12 tricks easily. Uh, turns out I might be able to make 12 tricks. I, I think I probably will be able to make 12 tricks on any lead except a heart lead uh, via a, a squeeze. Um, or I can always lead up to my queen of spades as long as I haven't let a heart. Um, this board was the last board of the morning session. I knew my partner and I were having a reasonably good game, but not a great game. Now, all hands are equally important to your score, but this felt like a particularly crucial one. And I went to lunch feeling pretty sick about this hand. Also feeling more like a victim of a psych bit. Um, I felt at the time like I had made the correct decision based on all the available information. And uh, certainly... If it were an imps competition, I would have gladly risked going down two for even a small chance of making the contract. So I definitely would have gone up with the queen at imps. But at match points, it felt to me like down one was probably the best I could do and would not be an unreasonable score. In fact, I thought it was pretty clear cut. And then during lunch, I started thinking more about the hand. 
And what would have happened if I would have put up the queen in the south hand and West would have covered with the king? And if I were to duck, I believe I can squeeze West and hearts and diamonds in order to get 11 tricks and only go down one. And even though that seems a little strange, because usually when you're trying to squeeze for 11 tricks, you need to rectify the count and lose two tricks, which I couldn't do. Uh, I could duck the first spade and take the second spade with my ace, but I wouldn't be able to lose a second trick. And um, I still thought, though, that I would be able to squeeze West in hearts and diamonds. And so I decided to set up a hand layout where West would have both kings and see whether or not I could do that. So here I've given West um, more of a, the hand that I felt like he would have had. Uh, he certainly should have both kings for his overcall, and it's five diamonds and four hearts now. Still not a hand that I would overcall with, but certainly one that you can make an argument for. And if I play this hand, let me show you what happens. I I would still get the Ten of Spades lead, and if I put the Queen on it, and he covers with the King, as expected, and I duck, and now, of course, he continues with a Spade. And now, I do need to cash out my Ten Tricks, but I need to do it in an order that squeezes West. And that involves a Vienna coup, where I have to unblock the Ace of Hearts first, before I run my clubs. So, I play a heart to the Ace. And what this does is it transfers the threat card to my hand instead of Dummy's hand. And now, when I run all my clubs, West is going to start feeling the pinch. And he can afford to pitch a couple of hearts. Can't throw a diamond. He can throw one more heart. And then on the fifth club, I can throw the heart because I have the Queen Jack in my hand. And now West is definitely squeezed. He can't throw a diamond without giving me 11 tricks. If he throws a heart, he's actually going to give me 12 tricks. So this line of play would give him a chance to actually make a mistake. So he throws the four of spades, and the reason this squeeze works is it forces him to get rid of his escape card. Because now I can throw him in with the Queen of Hearts, and he doesn't have a spade that he can play. And when he leads a diamond, I'm going to get three diamonds and a heart trick to make down a one. So... This actually makes me feel even worse uh, 
I was not the victim of a psych bid. So I couldn't use that as an, an excuse. And um, it changes the entire logic of my initial analysis. Originally, I thought I had three choices, which was making 12 tricks, 11 tricks, or 10 tricks. And the chance of making 12 tricks was extremely slim. Uh, so I played for down one, as opposed to thinking I would go down two if I actually tried to make it. But given the fact that I can always squeeze west for 11 tricks, and I actually know that if, as long as he has the king of hearts and four or more diamonds, he is going to be squeezed into giving me 11 tricks. And so clearly the proper line of play is um, to play the queen of spades at trick one. So thanks all for watching. I won't say enjoying this with me because I certainly did not enjoy any part of it. Not the bidding, not the playing, and certainly not the immediate aftermath. Well, not the immediate aftermath, and definitely not in the final analysis where I realized I didn't even play it properly. But thanks for your attention anyway, and we will see you back here next time.